The 4th of July we celebrate a lot of things, but especially the International Day of Cooperatives. And this year's topic is Cooperatives Combating Climate Change. This is a very important day for worker and social cooperatives worldwide. And I, as the president of CICOPA, am very proud of the effort that you all, as members, are making to combat the climate change. Additionally, CICOPA is committed to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which invite us to take urgent measures to reverse the devastating effects of climate change on all levels. I am very happy to say that our cooperatives have made a great effort in all forms, from green transport initiatives to implementation of clean energy in their sectors. Some of our defining features, such as concern for the community and democracy at work, make our business model fit for achieving our common goal, environmental sustainability in a regenerative and just economy. Some months ago, the idea of change was refused by a lot of people. Now, after the COVID-19 crisis, we know that things can dramatically change from one day to another. During these difficult times, we are living now, we have shown our cooperatives strengths and skills with so many social actions for combating the pandemic. One of the most important conclusions of this time is that we need to be together and we need the solidarity. Together we can do more and the more we do together the world will become more cooperative. Industrial co-ops are great labs for social innovation, where solutions to combat COVID-19 or climate change can be found. But we cannot be waiting to the next crisis. We must act now. I invite you all to raise your voices, to become global drivers for change and to collaborate internationally. I'm sure that as a worker and social cooperatives, we will achieve this through solidarity, mutualization, democracy and humanity at work. With that being said, I wish you all a very happy International Day of Cooperatives.